Because my latest book, Stop Checking Your Likes, is having such incredible feedback, specifically on chapter three, How to Always End Up on Top, I'm sharing a little excerpt here with you today and sharing a very important and freeing exercise. You'll definitely want to stick around until the end for this. But first, if you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon to get notified every time I upload a new video because we'll be dropping more and more juicy content. I can guarantee you something right now. In some area of your life, you're grossly overestimating somebody else. You think this hero of yours has something really special, that they were born with something that you probably weren't blessed with. That they maybe have the magic touch and that all you can do is watch as they overtake you or just keep killing it out there. Because hey, there's the proof, right? Look at the Instagram pics of them wearing that perfect boho chic outfit in Lisbon. Or their fancy new job title you just saw via a LinkedIn alert. Or their flawless dinner party conversation. And why are they always on the up and up? And how are they always flying first class, right? Here is something to chew on. These things are within you too. That's why you admire them. They're probably just in hiding. That's why you notice them in the first place. Think about it. Are you jealous that a teenage girl sailed solo around the world? Or are you upset that your super meditative friend went on a 21 day silent retreat? No thanks. Or that she stays on a raw, vegan, macrobiotic, alcohol-free diet for six months at a time? Hmm. Does it make you feel insecure behind that another friend is working maybe every night and all weekend, hardly seeing her kids, to become a partner in a top law firm? I'm going to guess that they're on the less popular end of the envied I wish I were that me spectrum. Admired, yes, but triggering you? Maybe not. If they do trigger you, then you might just be really adventurous. Oh, but Louise from college with her cool blog and stud boyfriend. That might be another story, am I right? Oh, Louise, are those hair extensions? What diet are you doing? How can you be so pretty and funny? Her blog is also annoyingly entertaining, right? Come on, you've read it. And the small spelling mistake you saw on her Instagram post is the only scrap of shadow for it you're going to get. Well, 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 of course Savvy Louise is going to have a crap ton of blown out messy wave pics and she's going to write a lot. There are two strengths that she's got, but who knows what she's lacking. Maybe she doesn't have that many friends. Maybe she's exhausted and her overall health isn't as good as it looks. This is surprisingly common. Perhaps that stud boyfriend has an addictive side or he's a philanderer. Maybe the idea of public speaking has her so short of breath she passed up a maid of honor position and disappointed the sister she's always looked up to. Who knows? The better question is, who cares? You do. I know you do because I do too. We all do, to a point. We're human. And we use what's in our environment as reference points. But there is something so much more important to start caring about right now, and that's what you've got. Because when you give what you actually have right this second a little light and thought, you'll find it so much more than you think. I promise, no matter what we do on this earth, what contribution we make, all of us play an important role, and we usually don't even know it. We need to recognize our own strengths. Social media is only a 5% window into somebody's real life. It is so far from the full picture, and we need to know this and permanently ingrain it into our minds for whenever we get stuck down that scroll hole. Because if we're going to envy someone's perfect hair and perfect marriage, we also have to envy their behind the scenes problems, like their credit card debt, anxiety struggles, verbally abusive partner, eating disorder. We just don't know what the behind the scenes issues are, and it's frankly not our business. It bears repeating. As proof, just look around you. Do your best friends who you know deeply post on social media their UTI, their tears over their ex, the rent increase they're freaking out over? Heck no. And if it seems that someone doesn't have problems, it means you just don't know them well enough because that's the problem, right? We don't see that everybody else is behind the scenes life. Other people's full business isn't for us. It's not our business, unless they wish to share it. But we can judge what we do see with a way more level head, because it's like a tiny bit of a full picture in a lot of cases. And what they do share, it's the good stuff they've got. Instead of focusing on the strengths of others, you can start by putting the spotlight more on your own. Here's how. We're gonna create your what I've got list. Think, what am I fixating on in someone else? Be honest now. Consider, how much do I really know about this person? For example, are they in debt? So many flashy looking people leasing BMWs are living in the red. Let me just tell you that. 
Does this person struggle with food issues? Is there a fertility challenge in their life? Then think, how good is their relationship truly? Are they and their closest family members all in good health? Get real about how much you really know about this person. It's probably a whole lot less than you think. You can make a list like this one. What I know about Louise. Good hair, seemingly enviable relationship. What I don't know about Louise. If her sex life is all satisfying, whether her mother is nice to her or even alive. If she regrets not pursuing another career path. If she's even successful as a blogger. Now, let's work on positively comparing you to other people. It may be uncomfortable at first, but stay at it. No one is gonna see this but you. We're gonna create a list and call it what I've got. Let it be long. Aim for 25 items or more on your list. What do you have that a lot of people don't? Maybe caring, healthy parents, an addiction-free life, the best dog in the world, the coolest interior design flair, maybe you're good with money, you have clear skin, quick wit. Let's let it all out. Now think of someone you're envious of. How have they actually helped you? Maybe they've unconsciously inspired you to try yoga or to be more confident at work or to go for it while traveling to someplace new. Here's another thing to do. List all the ways that you and this person are actually similar. Ask yourself, has the person I envy actually helped or subconsciously encouraged me in some way? Could I foster some appreciation here instead of angst? If you want to go a step further, you can even delete all social media apps from your phone and keep them off for one week. And when or if you're back online, DM me on Instagram and let me know how it felt. I'm at Susie.more. Read over your what I've got list. What stands out today is something you can really adore about yourself. Snap this list and keep it on your phone too for regular revisits and safekeeping. Knowing who you are and what you've got can't help but keep you on top. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I know you'll love my book, Stop Checking Your Likes. It's all about how to live a successful, freedom-filled life and puts other people and their impact on you vastly into perspective. You can grab it anywhere books are sold.